Well, a beautiful power couple seen front and center at New York Fashion Week and conflicting relationship news regarding a former Real Housewives of Atlanta star. Entertainment contributor and best-selling author Crystal Jordan joins us now with the tales. Good morning to you, Crystal. And first and foremost, I love this story where we're going to start talking about the beautiful Halle Berry and her very handsome boyfriend stepping out on Fashion Week. Absolutely. I am all for Holly Berry and, like you said, the very debonair Van Hunt on the front row at Michael Kors in New York Fashion Week. They look like a picture. Like, I, I, I'm sure anyone with Holly Berry would look great, but the <laughs> two of them just look so great together. Um, they have been official since 2020, and we see they're still going strong. Um, you know, we know that Holly Berry has been through some tumultuous relationships, but it really appears like this is a good fit for her. They share a little bit, but she keeps most of it quiet. Um, but people are saying that she's saying that this is her soulmate, and they definitely look the part. So I'm all for it. I absolutely love the two of them together. And, and this actually comes after we just learned that um, her divorce has finally been finalized with her ex now Olivier Martinez yeah and she's actually you know she's got to come off come up off of a little bread for for that divorce mm -hmm. but the beautiful, thing, the beautiful thing about Holly and Van Hunt is I think this is the first time she's been with a creative mm -hmm. and we know actors are you know they're they work out of that creative side of their brain Van Hunt is a singer songwriter and he just has that really artistic vibe and so that could be a better a better fit for her um, you know because it's, it could be more similar to her personality but but yeah, I, I know that she's not talking about getting married anytime soon. You know, people have been asking them, mm -hmm. and marriage is not in her vocabulary, and rightfully so, <laughs> after what she went through uh, with this divorce. But it looks like the two of them are really just enjoying. And we just are seeing a really happy Holly Berry, which is beautiful to see. Very nice to see. Okay, let's talk about another relationship, whether they're going to be divorced or they're going to stay married. Uh, of course, we're talking about uh, reality star Kim Zolziak Bierman and her husband, Croy. So are they heading towards Splitsville? Are they not? Oh my gosh. Well, if we couldn't get any, any more polar opposite with these stories, because Kim and Troy are, are, and Croy are definitely the opposite of happy. Um, sources are saying that they are absolutely going through with the divorce, according to Croy's, uh, you know, friends and sources on his side, but the two of them are still living in their marital home. And that's actually the trend with a lot of couples now, because when you have an asset that that's, that's you know, that big, um, and they haven't sold the house yet, they're trying to figure out their finances. A lot of couples are opting to live together while they're going through the divorce proceedings. But the two of them, I feel like, you know, being a hopeful romantic, this is one of those situations I'm like, they absolutely need to go ahead and separate because there's so many toxic allegations going back and forth. We know there's been drug abuse allegations, um, allegations of a gambling addiction, um, even, you know, neglect and abuse to the children. They have four children together. So hopefully the two of them will be able to sell that house you know we know that croy wants to sell the house so they both can go their separate ways and kind of bring some peace to the situation um they filed and then they you know rescinded and said they were going to try to work on it but at this point uh croy's team is saying we are definitely moving forward with the divorce we just need to figure out how to split up these marital assets well we wish them well in whatever decision that they make and one thing's for sure we will continue to follow the drama i mean this is reality tv for them right it is. I mean, this relationship started on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Yeah. Um, it's one that the public has been invested in from the beginning. They went on to have their show, Don't Be Tardy for the Party. And so this has played out, you know, over the last 10 years, you know, in front of audiences. And so people are really invested. But we're hoping that they can find some resolution and hopefully be friends. They have four children together. Uh, Croy actually adopted Kim's uh, daughters she had when they met. So it was a beautiful family to watch and hopefully they'll be able to find resolution in a peaceful place. But yeah. honestly, yeah. Sharon, I don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon. Well, they need a healthy relationship in either which way. Crystal, yeah. thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it. Keep up with Crystal on social media. Follow her on Instagram at EnchantedPR. 1048 is the time. The life of artist Leonardo da Vinci 